So I want to give uh, share a little tip on how to do exact fit dados on a saw stop table stop when you don't have the dado break uh, cartridge, right? You, if you own a saw stop, you cannot do dados uh, with a dado set unless you've got the break cartridge. It uh, you can't bypass it or anything. It, it won't let it won't let the saw run if you put the dado blade in there. So one way to do that with a traditional blade um, is to, you know, measure, you know, decide how big of the a data set you want. You know, here for this case in a T-Track, it's uh, three quarters of an inch. So if you figure out exactly where, um, like for me, I, I wanted this to come in, let's say 10 inches from the edge. And so if you put this, your starting point at, at 10 inches um, here in the, the blade set, and then... If you go over three uh, three quarters of an inch, minus the um, the width of the blade, right, which would be an eighth of an inch in this place, right, you can come over and set it at the correct, which will be but roughly ten and uh, five eighths for me, and then you can put a little spacer in there. That way, you've got enough room to turn the knobs, right, and so now I've got a left edge of my for my dado right an exact fit left edge and then if so if i come back and i set this again at 10 inches right i'll run run the um, plywood through and then pick it up and scoot it over run it through and pick it up scoot it over, run it through all the way until i hit this edge and it will be an exact fit i would recommend if you do a good bit of this to get a flat ground blade here versus a sort of traditional blade uh, that's more of a, a sharper an angled edge but it's a great way to get a really really exact fit on a data without having to uh, invest in a drum cartridge